This is a commentary on how one might use a natural law to manage our overflooding emotions of grief or sorrow. They say joy and sorrow spring forth from the same stream. When we feel deep sorrow, we say, I have a broken heart, or I just feel empty. It is usually due to feelings of loss. When we feel joy, we say, my heart is full. If we look at this literally, as the heart contracts and empties itself of blood, it feels a momentary loss, but then immediately opens itself up to receiving blood once again so it can be filled. Feeling a sense of emotional or spiritual fullness encompasses both feelings of sorrow and feelings of joy. Understanding this principle may help us to see God's purpose for the disappointments and sorrows of life. Ultimately, the experience of loss is necessary for us to even comprehend fullness, just as the existence of darkness is necessary for us to know or define light. In this world, all things are defined by their opposite. This is the law of nature God intended. Could we understand beauty if ugly didn't exist? Could we explain order without the presence of chaos? Or peace without the presence of war? These two states of being coexist to give meaning to each other, but also to complement or to help control each other. For example, if our lives become too chaotic, we do something to create order in an effort to bring about balance. Just as we add cold water to our baths if the water is too hot, or we bring light to a room that is too dark. This is the basic expression of how all things work. If grief and loss have become the dominant experience in one's life, finding ways to experience joy and pleasure would be the antidote. However, before we can use this life principle to create more balance, it is necessary to define what types of experiences generate feelings of delight. I made a list of 21 things that make me feel a sense of joy. Some of them might be things that universally help everyone to feel delight, but others might be just my own experience. I am sharing these with you in an effort to inspire those who grieve and loss to create their own list. Once you've identified these experiences that invoke joy, the way to manage those prevailing feelings of loss and sorrow is to actively and intentionally do things to create those joyful experiences. It's up to you. things that bring me joy. Feeling that sense of accomplishment after a long struggle to reach a goal. Seeing someone you love after a long separation. Someone paying you a compliment when you thought they didn't notice. Hearing the words, I love you. Getting together with old friends and laughing about the memories. Meeting someone who is sharing the same life experiences as you and delighting in how much you have in common. Getting the confirmation that you are lovingly welcome and belong to a like-minded community. Hearing music that conjures up wonderful memories. Confirmation that you are wanted and are included with others to perform a grand feat. Having conversation with someone who shares the same knowledge or belief with you. Experiencing an awesome event with someone, such as hearing a favorite band seeing an epic movie, witnessing a global good news event, etc. 
getting hired for a job you've always wanted to have. Having a wonderful supernatural experience that undoubtedly cannot be attributed to any worldly circumstance. For example, a vision from God, guardian angels, hearing God whisper your name, getting a phone call from an old friend you thought you'd lost contact with, observing the grandeur of nature, for example, the beauty of flowers, majestic mountains, large waterfalls, intricately clothed animals, the abundance of colorful sea life, etc. Finding a personal treasure you had lost for a time. Engaging in a creative project that turns out exactly how you envisioned it would. Watching puppies play, babies giggle, horses run wild, or people dancing with elegance. Seeing your favorite sports team win a game. Experiencing a personal visit from an admired hero. And witnessing acts of kindness. In conclusion, it is helpful to know that in the cycle of life, having a full heart requires a delicate balance between joy and sorrow. 